Preach the gospel at all times and when necessary, use words. Some people love this quote. You know what? I hate it. It makes me mad. Do you want to know why? Coming up next. What's going on YouTube? Mark here. Hope you're having an amazing day. This channel is all about encouraging you to take that next step in your faith. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing. This is our last video for our evangelism training on how to share your faith. In our first video, we talked about fears and excuses. Then we talked about how prayer needs to be the foundation for sharing your faith. The last video was all about how all of us need to be the most loving person in the room, especially for those who have not experienced the love of Christ. Preach the gospel at all times and when necessary, use words. I used it with some of my students to motivate you to keep living out your faith every single day. The more the quote got shared, the more it came up, and the more that I thought about it, I just gotta say, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Eventually, you're going to have to open up your mouth and talk about Jesus. A friend of mine in high school and college lived by this quote. He wanted to be different. He wanted to live out his faith. He wanted people to come up to him and ask him, hey, what's different about you? Or why are you always happy? And guess how many people came up to him and asked him about his faith? Zero, zero, zilch, none. Okay, so how do you share? How does this thing take place? I believe this needs to start in your everyday and ordinary. First, just start talking about your faith with your family, with your friends, with your classmates, with your roommates who are already Christians. You need to be able to get into a normal conversation about the things of Jesus. I have an idea. What if on Sunday nights you had dinner and discussion about what you experienced at all the church services with your roommates or sweet mates or with your family? Take a friend of yours out for coffee and ask them about their relationship with Christ. If you're married, I want to encourage you to increase the amount of time that you spend talking about your faith, talking about Jesus with your spouse. If you have kids, I want to encourage you this year to increase the amount of time that you talk about Jesus with them. All of this conversation will get you into the habit, into the practice of talking about your faith. If you can't do this with the people that are already in your life, who already believe, how are you going to do this with people who maybe are against your faith? John 4.39 says this, Many of the Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me everything I ever did. In the story of the woman at the well, Jesus encounters this woman and transforms her life. Most people talk about the cultural differences that he had with her, but I want to talk about what happened to her after his encounter with the woman. If I were to summarize this passage, she shared her story and led them to Jesus. After her encounter with Jesus, she went and told people about it. This was her testimony. Have you ever shared your story with the people in your life who haven't yet experienced the same things that you have? People can't deny your story. Share your experience. Share how Jesus' power and presence is transforming your life. Share how life is different now, how life is better. Not necessarily perfect, but that because of his presence in your life, you're able to move forward. A long time ago, a friend of mine died in a plane crash, and I really felt compelled to share my faith with my friends. So I typed out a letter to all of them at the University of St. Thomas, and I put it in each one of their P.O. boxes, about 50 letters in total. In that letter, I talk about my relationship with Jesus and how I wanted to encourage them to start a relationship with him too. The letters went out and I waited to see what would happen. Only one person thanked me for the letter and no one else talked to me about it. I didn't go and talk to any of my friends that I sent the letter to. Eventually, we're gonna have to open up our mouth and say something about Jesus. Let's make a deal. Let's commit to sharing our story, God's story, with the things that he's done and the things that he's doing in the people that he brings into our life in 2019. Question of the day. Hey, I want you to start sharing your faith story right now. So go ahead and post that in the comment section below. Try to do it in 10 lines or less. Do you have a prayer request? Add that below as well, and I promise you will be prayed for. Hey, love you guys. Smash the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Don't forget, you are loved, and we'll see you next week.